All right, Coach, here with uh, Head Coach Lou Snelling of the uh, Cross Country Track and Field team. Coach, track and field, indoor track and field season about to get started uh, here this weekend. And uh, just wanted to kind of sit down with you, talk to you a little bit about uh, the upcoming season, what we can expect out of the Falcons this year. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, we'll jump in. This is your third year now coaching the track and field programs. Um, where is the program as compared to, you know, when you started, what you thought it would take to get, uh, you know, to the level you want to get it to in, in year three? Yeah, you know, we're, we're at an interesting place right now in terms of, um, you know, we're, we're a roster of 40 uh, on the women's side. Uh, 30 of the 40 are underclassmen in terms of eligibility, which, you know, we're two recruiting classes in and at this point, so uh, it, it makes a lot of sense. Uh, the nice thing is, uh, as young as we are this year, we're still not as young as we were last year in, in a lot of ways. So we're starting to see the experience. Uh, we're starting to see the leadership. We're starting to see the development athletically, uh, which is uh, which is exciting. Um, and I think uh, that'll be reflected in, in um, you know how indoors and outdoors ultimately go. I think we saw that a little bit with cross country uh, this fall uh, as well. Yeah. Yeah, we've seen the cross country program take some strides. We've seen, we even saw track take some strides last year. Certainly not to where you, I know you want it to go to, but but what kind of expectations do you have for this team this year? Eleventh place in the indoor season a year ago. Um, what kind of expectations do you see? Yeah, you know, a lot of it revolves around improving. Uh, obviously, scoring points at the MAC championship at the end of the day is, is the most important thing. Um, but you know, I think a lot of that's going to happen just by uh, us taking more steps. Uh, with the, the athletes that have been here uh, for two years uh, plus, and then a lot of the freshmen that are coming in, our newcomers, that um, we do expect to have you know, uh, an impact right away. Sure, yeah. good. Let's, let's kind of break it down a little bit, um, looking at this year into kind of three positional groups and, mm -hmm. and just talk about those groups and how, where they're progressing. Uh, we'll start with the sprinters, jumpers, and hurdlers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, you know, Jeanette obviously is, is our big name there in terms of returners. Uh, it, you know, this is her fifth year. She has both indoor and outdoor eligibility, so we're really excited uh, about that. Uh, you know, we hope to send her off with, with a great year as a whole. So uh, she's healthy and fit at this point. Um, had some nice performances at the inner squad meet uh, before Thanksgiving. So really expecting big things for her. You know, she's been runner-up, um, you know, indoors uh, in the 60, I believe, twice now. Um, so, you know, we'll see if this is her year. Sure. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, let's talk about the distance runners. We saw some, a lot of those in cross country, but I know it's a different kind of mm -hmm. thing altogether running track and field. Yeah, you know, in terms of uh, our, our big name returners, you know, it's it's Andrea, Olg, and Jasmine uh, Redmond. Um, you know, Andrea was seventh uh, outdoors in the steeple last year. Um, you know, Jasmine uh, went 17-11 and 5K in outdoors last year, both as redshirt freshmen. So, uh, no doubt expecting big things from them. We didn't see Jasmine in cross, so it would be really nice to have her out, um, uh, you know, this, uh, this year, uh, this spring. So, uh, so, expecting a lot from them. And there's a pretty big cast of characters behind them that could really – uh, start to make an impact at the at the conference, and we saw some of the names in cross. Um, uh, so it's it, it'll be exciting to see kind of who takes those steps uh, behind uh, Andrea and Jasmine. Sure. Yeah. Let's talk about the throwers a little bit. Yeah. Well, obviously, the, you know the big name there is Brooke. Yeah. You know, with, uh, coming off her All American performance from the outdoor season, mm -hmm. different animal indoors, um, but it's still excited to kind of see how much improvement she can make. You know, in the weight, um, our transfer senior uh, Tina uh, should make an immediate impact for us both indoors and outdoors. So uh, it'll be great to have her out there for for one year. Sure. Yeah. It, it, and you you mentioned Brooke and and uh, the success she she had in the outdoor season. Is, is that something? And I know indoor season is a little different. She's not throwing the same apparatus yes. and all that kind of stuff. But but across the board, is that um, is her success something that carries into recruiting and, and all that kind of stuff for your program um, and, and something that you feel like you're going to see dividends in across the board with your program? 
Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I think we, we've seen that uh, in our current recruiting class, you know, things that have happened in, in 2013 has definitely been really positive for us, you know, growth being an All-American. Uh, a lot of the other performances from a lot of the other girls that, um, you know, we haven't seen here in, in some years. So absolutely that helps the recruiting process because we can, you know, unequivocally point to the fact that these girls have been here one, two, three years and they're developing, in, you know, in a, in a really exciting way. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you talked about being a little bit more experienced this year than, than you were a year ago, mm -hmm. but you have a lot of newcomers on this team as well. And kind of sifting through them all, what, what are some names that we might, at the end of the year, we might be hearing as, uh, as, as those who are impacting this program in a positive way? Uh, you know, uh, one of our other transfers in the, in the sprints, uh, jumps group, Alicia Arnold, I think you'll see her name a lot. Uh, she was very impressive in uh, our squad meet, uh, pretty much step for step with Jeanette. Uh, and then you had the jump side with her, um, and yeah, she's somebody that you're going to hopefully hear a lot from in the next several years, you know, uh, at Bowling Green. Uh, you know, you, you go to the, the throws group and you have uh, Corey Reiser coming off a red shirt. She's a red shirt freshman. Um, you know, I, I think you're going to see her name and hear her name a lot um, with Bowling Green track and field. So that'll be, that'll be exciting. Um, you know, from a distance standpoint, um, you know, we have a couple of freshmen right now. A nice group of freshmen that, that I think are going to, you're going to see their names a lot. Rachel Durbin. Um, who helped us out this, this fall. Uh, Brittany Dara, same thing, she helped us out this fall. Uh, so you, you'll start to see their names more and more as we go through uh, the next couple of years. Sure. Yeah. sure. And then we look at those returners, and we, we, you mentioned a few people, Jeanette mm -hmm. Pegger, Rupert Plager, those kind of things, but uh, some, some of your student athletes who might make a jump this year uh, after another year of you know, training in the program. Yeah, yeah you know, I think... Um, I mentioned Corey uh, Reiser in, in the throws. I think uh, that's going to be a big, big uh, impact for us. Um, and Kayla um, scored a point, uh, you know, last year in the disc uh, as a true freshman, and she's just getting stronger. You know, some of the things she's done in the weight room uh, this fall have been have been phenomenal. You know, so you'll see her take some steps. Um, you know, Brittany Sinclair, you heard a little bit from last year, particularly as part of the relays, but more so indoors in the open quarter. Uh, you know, I think she's poised to really take, take some steps and uh, do some exciting thing, both, uh, exciting things, both in the, in the quarter and the relays. Sure. Yeah. Good. And, and we'll close this out, just uh, kind of this first part of the schedule. Mm -hmm. um, looking at that, you, you run at Kent State this weekend, and you mentioned – that's the uh, opportunity for you guys to run at the same track where the indoor championships will be. But then you've got like what three weeks a month off. Yeah. Um, how do you how, how do you work that how, as a coach? How the, how does that play? Yeah, you know, with, with you know two thirds of the team, we kind of build into the end of the fall with our inter squad meet, and then uh, this year at Kent State, um, uh, like you said, we have we have some time off with the Christmas holiday. Um, you know, that's, that's really on us in terms of making sure that uh, we get the job done training-wise. You know, the girls have a huge responsibility. Nobody's following them around. It, it's really all on them. They have the plan. They know exactly what to do. Uh, there's no question there, but it's a matter of, of them, you know, taking care of business. So, uh, but again, we're, we're in a much better place there. We feel good about that. So, uh, but you're right, we go straight back in, into our first meet before school starts. January 11th uh, at home here, the, the B, uh, BGSU opener, um, and then indoor season just kind of flies from there. So um, so it, it is interesting in terms of how that dynamic works. Sure. Yeah. Good. Well, Coach, thanks uh, for the time, and we're looking forward to following the team. All right, thank you.